I'm starting this demo with a piece of material roughly 211 by 162 it's uh, just uh, any old lump of material just for the demo make sure it's squared up now that that's terribly important but what is important is the settings some of the settings you're going to make we're going to go to file up here and design spark options right we're in options here I'm gonna to go to I'm gonna zoom in a bit because we're going to go down here to move handle size now I've got mine set to maximum normally it's about here somewhere but I'm going to set it to maximum you will see why later so that's the only really important setting we need to make for this and we select OK by the way I'm in version 5 here the non-constraint uh, side of things which will enable me to get to these sketch shapes here now the constraint size doesn't appear to have the polygon tool but the non-constraint one does so that's what we're going to need so I'm going to select it and I'm going to put it on here somewhere now we've got a cursor with a hatch in it which is asking me to select a plane to draw on so we'll just click anywhere the hatch goes away and I can draw on here so I'm going to draw put the snap the grid on I'm going to draw a hex shape six sides uh, 12 the inscribed circle of 12 millimeters diameter click that right now select the move tool and select the hex and we get the move handle now I'm gonna zoom in for this now we've got a big biggish move handle but I need to zoom in to point something out now you've probably not noticed before but if you look carefully here and here you see some little bumps now they're not the thick ends of arrows on here they serve a particular purpose now when you try to set them you can't so we'll come to that later now if you want to move this hex you can of course just grab one of these axes and move it that direction and that direction but what if you wanted to move it in that direction straight up or at that angle through there you need to be able to move the move handle without actually moving the hex well try and do it if you can't always moves the hex however now if we click on the rotation arrow we see that we've got a couple of little grey parts here and here and you should be able to select them now it's this is very fiddly you can actually select them if you move close to the edge now you need a pretty good mouse for this and good eyesight both of which I haven't got so you see that one's turned to like a little little ball there once it does that click your left mouse button and drag and lo and behold 
you can move the move handle without moving the hex. So suppose we've set that at 60, 65 at the moment, or type 60, return. There we are. Now we can actually, I'm going to zoom out again, we can actually move it in that direction. And of course that direction. What if we wanted to move it at an angle? Well, let's try. Click. Find this. Well, got a problem there. So we'll find that one. It's very tricky. I found that if you angle the sketch plane a bit, like that, it is a little bit easier to locate them and click and drag. So 60 again. Now I don't know why that one changes and not the one that's in blue, but we'll stick with it. There we are. Now we'll square it up again. And lo and behold, we'll find we can move it in that direction. Also, I'll back out a bit. Now, what I wanted to just demonstrate involves moving it up here somewhere. So I'm going to have to move this again. So again, we're going to angle it to get at these little balls. There we are. So I want it there, which is going to be around 30 degrees, I think. Mm-hmm. Well, we'll say 30 and see what happens. 30. No. See, it's 30 there. We'll try 60. Ah, that's better. There we are. Right, now we've got our axis pointing through this. So we can move it that way. And if we want more than one of these, we can either hold the control key down and drag another one away at a certain distance. Or if we want multiple ones of these, we can select create a pattern, drag. And now we've got a distance we can change. Now suppose we wanted say four of these spaced equally now the odd thing is we've got to type three times 14 that puts a two millimeter gap between them return and then four in there now we've got four equally spaced. Okay. Now we can grab all of these, select the move handle, and if we want to drag them in that direction we faced with doing the same business click the rotation 
move it a bit so we can get out that's that's it move it 30 degrees I think 3 0 return Now this is axis is normal to that. So now if we make sure create patterns is selected because it seems to switch itself off at the least hint of things changing. So we drag and again we say three. times 14 return and then the count here needs to be 4 for some strange reason and there we have a matrix of hexagons now if I hit the P key for pull using the control key down select these back out of this a bit Rotate this bit over here. Then left click and drag. And we've made a honeycomb. Well, I hope you found that interesting and maybe useful. Bye for now. Bye.